Hey guys, thanks for checking out another video. Today is going to be a really quick and simple one. I already have the car started. We're already sitting here letting the car warm up. I am going to take the car out, do a couple pulls, look at my intake manifold temperature, and then we're going to see if this $70 to $80 piece of sheet metal is worth anything. This is the Varus Engineering uh, hood scoop block off plate. It's been in the 90s. And anyways, I'm going to go out, I'm going to do the test. I'm going to monitor my intake manifold temperature, do a couple pulls, then we are going to instantly stop in a parking lot somewhere. I'm going to install the Varus hood scoop block off, and then we're going to go back out and do those pulls again, see if we get a lower intake manifold temperature. Okay, so we pulled over into a parking lot. So I got my hood popped. This thing should be really simple to install. You can see it installed. I'm gonna have to go back and rewatch the footage, but I have a feeling it definitely didn't help. Okay, so actually another day has passed since I've done the last test. And after reviewing the footage, I did notice that the temperature was actually a little bit hotter when I, after I installed the block off plate. So it actually did the opposite of what it was supposed to do. I'm gonna do a couple pulls with the hood scoop uh, block off plate installed. And then I'm gonna do the opposite of what I did yesterday and I am going to uninstall it and then run the same test and see if maybe the car uh, warmed up a little bit or something and that was maybe the cause for my higher temperature readings. Okay, I just removed the block off plate. Do it again. All right, here we go. 108. Okay guys, so before I officially call it, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna change my fuel pressure monitor. I'm gonna set that to intake temperature. We can see those side by side, figure out the difference between the two of them with and without. Start without the plate because I took it off in the last clip. We are at pretty much full op temp. We are at 190 degrees with a high of 198. Pulling off, let's do a third gear pull. I did not think my intake temp was that high, but I guess the intake temp isn't gonna matter. What's gonna matter is the manifold temp. We should be good, let's go. Reinstalled. I'm not gonna say that it does nothing, but I am gonna say after my observations, it doesn't do much of anything. I don't think it's lowering the efficiency of the intercooler at all. And if it is, it's so negligible that both of our tests back to back seemed about the same. It didn't really seem like it was running hotter or colder. It's pretty consistent either way. So I don't want to necessarily say this mod is a waste of money. I'm not a scientist. I don't know if there is actually some kind of magic going on. But from a real life perspective, I'm really not seeing enough evidence to know whether this is working or not. If anything, it looks like it's actually increasing the temperature by just a little bit. And I think what might be happening is all of that extra airflow coming in under the hood through the hood scoop is actually blowing over top of the intake manifold and kind of helping to cool it uh, with all that airflow hitting the manifold itself.
If any of you guys know more than I do or you know something I don't, uh, leave it in the comments, but I have yet to see any actual hard data that this thing actually works. Just people saying it does or it doesn't, and I'm not buying it, so I don't know. Just my opinion. If you guys have another opinion, let me know in the comments, but this is just my experience. It could be completely different for somebody else, but um, I'm kind of disappointed that I wasted 70 couple dollars on that thing. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the video. I'll talk to you in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one.